People always tell me that they have trouble learning how to make perfect loops, and I give some tips for in my classes for how to do that. And one of the best ways is to create a portable beading station so you can practice. So what I'd like to do is use a tray. Now this tray is a work in progress, so it has a design board in here that you can use. And this is what I would use if I were making necklaces or bracelets. But since we're going to practice making our earrings, I'll just remove this and put my beading mat into the tray. And then I have a nice little portable beading station that I can take with me. What I tell people is, you know, rent a movie or something and sit in front of it, grab a package of head pins, a package of ear wires, get your wire cutters, bring in some round nose pliers or a mandrel bail making plier, and you need chain nose pliers. Now, of course, the next step is to select your beads. So when you have everything in a clear container like this, then you can easily choose beads that make it easy to make a bunch of earrings at once so you can practice your loops. So for this project, I'm going to use some big red beads and I'll choose some flat spacers and then I also like to use a rondelle at the top of my earring. So you can see that this is an easy kind of on the go or portable to move it around your house so that you can practice. So and everything just fits inside your tray here. So now to make an earring of course the first thing that you need to do is string some beads onto a head pin. So we'll take a large bead here and then we'll put on a spacer bead and sometimes you can even cover the base of your bead with a spacer bead if you want to. That's kind of a fun embellishment for making a little more decorative. And then string another bead and then you can put a rondelle or a smaller bead on the top. And what I like about these containers is that they have labels that I can mark all of what's inside so I can keep an inventory on my beads and supplies too. And then I'll get my ear wire ready so that I'm all set. Now to make a perfect loop it just takes practice, 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 practice. So if you have this type of plier, you can bend it in a right angle at the top, like this, and then just bring your tail over the top of the plier. And there, you can see I left a little bit of space here that I can cover with coiling. So now I'm just going to use my fingers and wrap this over the top of the wire. And see how I left a little bit of space? So this one, I'll just cut this apart and try again. And the beautiful thing about having all of your supplies at the ready is that you can just keep practicing. And it really does just take practice with your tools and with the different materials that you use, eyeballing it as you go along. So here you can see I have my beads on my pin. I'm gonna make a right angle just a little bit and then bring it over the top. So now I'm a lot closer. You can see it's just about an eighth of an inch there and then coil this around the top of the head pin. So this is just a way, this is one way of doing it. A lot of people have different methods. You can come in with your chain nose pliers and bend this. And see how my circle has gotten a little off to the side? Now I'll put my pliers back in and bend it back out. And then smush this back down. And since I have a little bit of extra wire here that I don't need, one easy way to get rid of this rather than trying to flatten it down is to just use your flush cutter. Now, always use the flat plane of your flush cutter against what you're going to leave behind. So, because the other side is pointed, you know, that part would leave a little bit of a diagonal on this side. So, always turn it to the back so that you have a flush to the back. And then you can use your chain nose pliers again if you need to to kind of flatten it down. Now, when I'm ready to move all of this, or you know, maybe I want to take a break from my earring making. Oh, I forgot to show you how to attach it to the ear wire. This is really easy. You just slide it right on to your loop. And different ear wires have different ways of attaching there. And you just squeeze this shut. But when you're ready to move on, just pack everything back into your tray. Make sure your lids are tightly closed. And then you can put your lid on and you're ready for the next time that you want to work on your jewelry making. So you can take this with you.